Hello Taurus, I am Ulrich, I am a Lunar Monk card reader, and today we will do your financial card reading for the month of September. Mm -hmm. uh, as you, uh, there are 44 cards in the deck, and the lane is done with three cards you see here in front of me. You can also see four objects here in front of me of the table, meaning we will do four card readings for the sign of uh, Taurus for the month of September. From these four objects, you choose or you pick one that you think relates most to your personality or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. Um, this object of your choice, it should or it will relate the best to your financial current situation or the advice that you are receiving from the cards regarding your financial situation. Of course, you can watch all four videos related to the Taurus sign and then you can decide which object is fitting your the best. The matches here represent the fire element, the stone represents the earth element, the aerosol sprayer represents the air element, and the shell represents the water element. So Taurus, here we go for your financial card reading for September 2021. Hello Taurus and welcome to the shell or the water group for the card reading for September 2021. Um, before we start, I want to mention that um, starting 27th of September, Mercury is going retrograde. It's not a good time to sign contracts during that period. Agreements you make, anything you need to put your name under for officializing, it's not a good thing to do. Also, during that time, you will see your bus is late, your flight is cancelled, packages that you need to arrive at your home are wrongly de delivered, the containers is, is wrong what is inside. Um, these are all things that are happening during Mercury retrograde. This happens because our mind, the mind of all people in general, is working a little bit slower. Also, during that time, it's not a good idea to buy electronics like cell phones or uh, housekeeping equipment like laundry machines or microwaves. Why? These devices are connected to warranties and the warranty is connected uh, to, um, to the contract. So anyway, the general idea here is not to sign or buy anything during that period if you can avoid that. However, if you have no choice, um, please double check the fine print of the contract because it's possible after you change your mind, you want to get out of the contract, you cannot anymore, something wrong with the device, you cannot change it anymore. These are all things that are happening during Mercury retrograde. Anyway, the general idea here is try to fight, uh, try to avoid making any purchases or contracts at that time. Anyway, uh, Taurus, here we go for your card reading. The first card here is about uh, the spending that we do for others. Uh, Taurus is in general uh, 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 a generous sign. So he like to give gifts to others and of course uh, like to receive them also. But this card asks you if it was really necessary uh, the last uh, gifts that you did to your uh, family, maybe they were expensive gifts, uh, maybe you give something to your niece or to your cousin, you pamper them, but was it really uh, necessary, this card says, from uh, buying such an article or a purchase that is so expensive. This card tells you this is, has an impact on your budget. Charity is fine, but we need to order it. Um, if your generosity uh, you, or you observe that it uh, leads to problems or it con contributes to financial stress, maybe you're already in a financial uh, uh, difficult situation, uh, try to avoid these purchases um, and don't uh, give gifts that are uh, making your life more difficult. This is the issue, this is the issue here with this card. Uh, you need to uh, take care of yourself, your own family, secure yourself, your family. This card tells you if you can, even uh, to make some safety for yourself financially, if you uh, are still able to do so. So stimulate yourself and your own future rather than giving gifts to your loved ones. I'm sure if you're in a financial difficult situation, those people around you, they understand and they can comprehend that it's not the right time to do those gifts now. If you do so, you will be uh, more secure or become more secure yourself. The next card is the card. Uh, it's a difficult card of the deck. This one, this is about uh, difficult financial situations that we are in. Uh, for some of you here in this group, this will even mean like uh, in extreme cases to a bankruptcy. Um, this card probably tells you at least that you are uh, probably uh, not sleep very well at night. But maybe you wake up in the night, you make your balance in the night in your head. Um, 
if you are in a difficult financial situation, uh, maybe you should consider uh, a bankruptcy specialist if you're in a severe situation. Um, if you are a private person, maybe you should talk to a social worker. Maybe these people can help you or you can go to your bank to work out your financial situation. Uh, anyway, this is about making plans. Um, you need to eva evaluate your choices. Um, this card also tells you not to be uh, discouraged. Anyway, if you go in certain repayments plans, you need to uh, see if you agree with these repayment plans, uh, you will be obligated to follow them. So this will have consequences on your, uh, on your budget and the way you spend money. We need to follow the things that we agreed, the contracts that we agreed. So be careful here if you agree to certain things for a repayment plan, you will need to stick to the plan. Um, if you, however, not reach that plan, this card tells you you need to change your uh, the way you spend money. Probably you have some habits in spending that are not very healthy. Um, and this card tells you to change that behavior. Um, if you don't, maybe you come in a severe situation that leads to a financial, very difficult situation. So this card tells you to change those behaviors. Uh, it wants to avoid you from coming in a very difficult situation. So this card wants you to help to avoid a situation get, that get the situation gets worse or leads to uh, very difficult conditions and even for some bankruptcy. The last card is, however, the situation that we are in, we need to take care of ourselves, of our body. We need to eat healthy. This is what this card is about. Even if we are in a very difficult financial situation, we cannot eat like um, unhealthy. Uh, it's not a good thing also, uh, even if you are a little bit discouraged, to always buy foods that are pre-prepared. They have less vitamins. In the mall, we can buy things, everything that is that is uh, prepared already. But those things uh, are not healthy. Sometimes they are, don't contain a lot of vitamins. Even if you are a little bit discouraged, this card tells you to cook your own food and to eat healthier. Uh, this is one thing. The next thing that this card tells you, if you take a lot of order out order, you order a lot out. This also has a severe stress on your budget. This card tells you to try to avoid to order out and save this, this money for other purposes, maybe to balance yourself out. So this card tells you to be aware of that um, and uh, be aware of the food that you put in your body. So this card tells you, take out, buy healthy foods, take your pots and your pans, put them on the stove and start cooking. You will get financially healthy and also your body will get healthy. You will feel healthy overall and uh, you will break the chain of spending too much money in takeouts and you will save money. So learn the culinary arts back again. Um, Taurus like to eat well, so eat well here and take care of your body. You will be financially off and you will become healthier. So Taurus for the Shell or the Water Group, this is all for this month. If you enjoyed this card reading, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for doing so. If this card reading don't fit you at all, check out the other three card readings that are connected here. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my other videos and see you soon. Bye bye for now. Thank you. Hello Taurus and welcome to um, welcome to the air group. Sorry, welcome to the air group for the financial card reading for September 2021. Um, the first card before we start, I want to mention that starting 27 September, Mercury is going uh, retrograde, meaning this is not a good time uh, to sign contracts, agreements, anything you need to put your name under that officializes, it's not a good thing to do. You will also see that your bus is late, your flight is canceled, packages are wrong delivered. These are all things that are happening during Mercury retrograde. Why? Because our mind during that period, the mind of all people is working a little bit slower. So that's the reason that is behind this. Also during that period, it's not a good idea to buy cell phones, household equipment like laundry machines. Why? These things are connected to warranty and the warranty is connected to the contract and we come in the circle so you understand the point. Anyway, the general idea here is to avoid um, any form of contract or anything that you buy during this period. 
if you can do so. If, however, you are obligated, you have no choice, or you feel compelled to do so, please double, triple check the fine print. Because it's possible after you change your mind, you want to get rid of the item, you want to get rid of the contract, you're connected to it, you're binded to it, you cannot anymore, and you have regrets. So the advice here would be uh, not to sign any contracts at all from 27 September up to 18 October. Anyway, uh, with the card reading for the air group, here uh, we go again. The first card that we see here for the air group is uh, about our children. And we all consider our children to be as a beautiful wealth. But as we know, there's a price tag connected to it. Children are expensive. The apple of our eye, it costs us dearly. So here, this card tells you probably, uh, as all children do, they have a lot of requests. Uh, you have expenses for them, but this card tells you um, to balance those expenses out. Sometimes we lose our mind because we get a lot of requests from them. Um, and this card tells you, do you invest in their education, culture, their health? Uh, this is this card tells you to evaluate that. Also, it tells you not to follow the flow of other parents by always electronic, the latest gadgets, the latest fashion, whatever. This card tells you to reevaluate your own situation, establish priorities, um, and not according to the tears of your children. Um, this card tells you to uh, put your feet on the ground because the children, they will not stop with their requests. And as soon as, you, as they receive what you have requested, there is already a new request uh, for them. Anyway, this card tells you to stop uh, doing that, stop wasting energy. Um, if you say no, you can be sure that young people understand this. And of course, it has an impact on yourself and you need to set priorities here. The second card is about a repayment of debts. So probably here, uh, uh, here this means that uh, maybe some of our credit cards, um, they are uh, expensive that we have. So this card tells you to reevaluate your credit cards. Maybe you need to check out if you don't have some credit cards that charge you very high interests. Some of uh, companies, have the tendency to easy give us money. You can go in very, uh, a lot below zero, but the problem is they have very high interest. So this card tells you to check it out. If you have credit cards like that, you need to evaluate that. And if you do, please check and compare the rates to other credit cards. And if they really overcharge you to get rid of them, this is what this card is about. So you need to check this. Um, if you have, uh, however, some, uh, that's some credit cards try to balance them out because I but I don't think this is the case here. I think you have some credit cards here, some companies that overcharge you. I think this is the problem here. So you need to check, check your bank. If it's your bank and your bank is overcharging you, and if you can just change bank, because sometimes it's the bank also, it's the bank of the credit card company here that has an issue. So just check it out here. The last card is about uh, automatic savings accounts. What does this mean? Well, probably each month you are able to save some money. Um, and this uh, card tells you uh, to build up an automatic saving system. So as you see, the money, if it's there on your account, it's better to put it in the savings account because it gives you more interest. Um, this card tells you to do it, this in an automatic way. You can give the order by your phone or by your laptop and every month, a certain amount that you have decided that you can miss goes from your account to your savings account. So it's like an automatic system that you do. Uh, most people do this once a month, and I'm assuming here you can miss some money that you can put in your savings account. It will take a while to get used to this, but you will see if you do so, you this will amount to serious amounts in the long run. And maybe you can use this money for your children's education. Maybe there's a long time uh, plan trip that your, your family already asks about. Maybe there's some, uh, some uh, things in the housekeeping that need to be changed. Uh, maybe some interior decoration, whatever. Uh, you can use this money uh, that you have saved for projects that you want, or you can invest it for a retirement plan, whatever is important for you yourself. So this card tells you to uh, discipline yourself more so you can grow more in life. And you need to start a virtuous circle that will lead to more stability and more financial security. So, uh, Taurus, for the 
uh, Stone Group. This is all for this month. I hope you enjoyed this card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check out the other three card readings that are following here also. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out the other videos in my channel and see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to the Stone or the Earth Group for the month of September 2021. Before we start, I mention it in every group because it's important. Starting 27 September, Mercury is going retrogrades up to 18 October. This is not a good time to sign agreements, contracts, anything you need to put your name under for officializing it. Um, also, it's not a good idea. Uh, also, you will see uh, packages that you need to receive in your home. They don't arrive. Your bus is late. Your flight is canceled. This is all happening because our minds, the mind of all people collectively, is uh, going a little bit slower during that period. So um, it's not a good idea to sign contracts at all. Also, it's not a good idea to uh, buy things like cell phones, electronics, or even like um, laundry machines. Uh, why? Because these articles are connected to the, the contract that you purchased, it's connected to the warranty, and then the circle starts. So during that period, it's not a good idea to make contracts in whatever uh, the point is. Um, if, however, for some reason you have no choice, you need to buy something, you need to purchase an article, double, triple check the fine print, because it's possible after you change your mind, the article is not what you want, if you want to get rid of it, you want to get rid of the contract, you cannot anymore, you're, it disturbs you, uh, and you are in the circle. So the best thing to do is reflect well, but if you can, avoid, because afterwards you will change your mind or something will happen that disturbs you. Anyway, um, we will go for the card reading. The first uh, card that we see here is our uh, needs. We are all unique. Uh, if we buy something, um, we have the way we spend our money. But this card wants you to reflect over your real needs. It asks you to compare um, what is really necessary for you and what is optional. So this card asks you to analyze your current situation and condition. Here, this card tells you you need to distinguish what is uh, what you are obligated to buy and what you desire to buy. This fair and precise analysis, it will allow you to identify what is really essential for you as a person. And of course, then the unnecessary things. Um, here, this card asks you, are there certain articles that you bought that you could have done without? Probably there are, because else this card would not be here for this way. Um, this card tells you uh, to avoid unnecessary and especially luxury articles. Uh, try to avoid this. Um, try to buy the surpluses when you have saved enough money. Um, just try to avoid these things. It wants to make you more consciously. Um, it wants you to make clear decisions. Um, and if you do so, you will be surprised how much more you enjoy if you buy some luxury articles afterwards that are really helping you forward in life. Then uh, the second card is the cards of uh, awards. We uh, allow ourselves, I will give an example. For instance, it's very cold outside and uh, you're freezing and you come home and then you drink a warm glass of milk or it's very hot in the outside and you drink a glass of iced tea. This is an award, a simple award, but this is what this card is about. Um, we have little things that really satisfy us. And anyway, if we work hard, sometimes we want to reward ourselves. But this card tells you not to overdo it. Take care of your golden egg here because the golden egg is in the middle. Um, do not overdo it, this card says, and do not uh, take your efforts or destroy your own efforts um, by uh, buying yourself uh, luxurious gifts. So this card wants you to protect yourself, um, not overspending, and change purchases um, for rewarding yourself instead of buying a handbag or an electronic gadget. Do something that don't cost money. Go for a walk, rent, uh, uh, go uh, through the library for, for a video, uh, take a book. Uh, do things that don't cost money and that 
uh, you need to find out things that make you pick here that don't cost money. That's the purpose of this card. Uh, there are many things I'm sure that you like that don't cost money. Even if it's idle or it's activity, just get to know yourself better, make a list and see that you have activities that don't cost you money and that you see, consider yourself as a reward. So if you do so, you will uh, help yourself financially and you will improve more. The last card is the time, uh, the card of time. Uh, time waits for no man, we all wait that. Um, and this card tells you to try to prove your, improve your financial situation. Um, if there are certain problems in your life or certain things that you want to get rid of that disturb you financially, it's the time to do so. Don't wait on a bonus, don't wait on a raise. This card tells you to put your things in order. There is no perfect time, but this is the time now this card tells you to act. You need to uh, secure yourself more financially and probably you need to make some changes in your life so you can save more money. Maybe this is very interesting for the future. So take a piece of paper, uh, pencil, analyze your situation. Um, this card tells you to re-evaluate. You need to take your budget in hand. Don't wait, try to save money for the future Small savings will, will, will add up to your golden egg and it will you make more secure for your pension or whatever that is you're saving for. So, Doris, for the Stone Group, this is all for this month. I hope you enjoyed this card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for doing so. Also, check out the other videos on my channel. And also, thank you for that. And we see each other maybe next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello Taurus and welcome to the matches or the fire group for your card reading for September 2021, the financial card reading that is. Before we start, I want to mention that it's not a good idea starting 27 September up to 18 October for signing contracts, agreements, anything you need to put your name under for officializing, it's not a good time to do this. You will also see that your bus is late, packages arrive wrong, your flight is cancelled, these are all things that are uh, connected to Mercury retrograde. It's because our mind, the mind of all people, is tending to run a little bit slower during that time. And this has an effect on all of us and it causes problems. Also during that time, it's not a good idea to buy cell phones, household equipments like laundry machines. Why? Because these things are connected to a contract. The contract is connected to a warranty and you are in the circle, sometimes problems pop, pop up there. So the general idea here is not to sign any contracts at all during that period. If, however, for some reason you have no choice, uh, you feel compelled, or there is a reason why you need to take some certain steps, double, triple check the contract, because it's possible after you have regrets, you want to get out of the contract, you cannot anymore. Um, there are some clauses in the contract that you didn't see that you overlooked, you want to get out and you cannot anymore. So during that time, um, it's best not to sign any contracts at all. Anyway, here we go for your card reading. The first card we see here is the card of achievements. Probably uh, you reached a certain point in your life that uh, if you had a difficult situation before, it's that you slowly start to grow. Um, you start, your actions start to bear fruits, maybe you work hard before and you actually see the changes uh, from your hard work. So this card tells you you need to appreciate these uh, small victories or if they are bigger, you need to be happy with those accomplishments. Um, also, this card tells you not to compare yourself to other people, but you need to stay yourself. Um, you need to think about yourself and you need to think about the trans positive transformations that you have been able to make in your life. But then this card asks you, uh, have you a plan on the long run? Can you change some things so you can improve yourself more? If so, what need to be changed? Are there things out of the future that are not working anymore and that are disturbing you? Uh, if you, they can, you need to eliminate these things so you can financially secure yourself more on the long run. This is what this card is about. Also, if you are not sure what you have accomplished so far in your life, just write it down and you will see what makes you happy and how far you have come. There is no small or big success in life. Um, it's only the way it looks in your, in your eyes. 
So appreciate your own progress, persevere, and you will continue to um, proceed and perceive in your life. The second card we, ha we have here, it is that we cannot rely on other parties and third parties for improving ourselves. Um, this card actually relates directly to our ancestors or people around you. Maybe uh, there is some things that you're waiting on, uh, some, some money that you think you will receive or some inheritance that is hanging um, or you want to incalculate that in your budget on the long run. This card tells you to be careful with these calculations. Um, also, it tells you that you need to know now that you are in a good financial condition and it wants you to compare yourself to your grandparents, your over grandparents who needed to live on one salary with a large family. They had no access to exotic herbs, trips. They had no credit cards. So you need to hear you, this card wants you to be happy. Uh, where you are now, uh, you need to be happy with what you have. Also, if you open the TV or on the internet, you see how much problems there are in the world now uh, caused by viruses that we have, or uh, even um, things that are related to wars. This, this card tells you be happy in your current situation um, and uh, establish your position even though maybe for some, some, some days you feel unpleasant and you wished that you had achieved more, this card tells you be happy with yourself, be happy with your achievement. Also, it tells you that you cannot compare your situation to others. Uh, you cannot compare your situation to your ancestors and also you cannot compare yourself to people who have nothing at all, who are on the run. So this card wants you to be happy. It wants to reflect of our ancestors and your happy situation that you are in now. The last card is the card of luck. Um, we know that money don't make happy, but as we know, it's part of our life. And um, if we are financially secure, if our basic needs are covered, uh, then we can build up a more safety net. Um, however, this card tells you that some things in life don't make us happy as we ex expected. Some things um, we need are basics um, and everybody would to like have more. We like to travel more, we like to spend more, but this will not make you complete. It will not give you a feeling of total satisfaction. So this card is connected to the next card. Be happy with what you have. This is the message here, the general message that you get here. So this card tells you to take a break and think about your pursuit of happiness. Evaluate your situation. You want to live like a king or you are happy with your current situation? Money is essential, but just remember also the super rich, many of them are depressed. So evaluate your situation and you don't want to be depressed. Nobody wants to be so. Evaluate your own situation. Even if you have a lot of money, money don't make happy. This is what this card and this laying is about. You need to enjoy the little things in life. Appreciate the family you have around you. Appreciate the love that you receive from these people. And this is what it's about. This is about the real deal here in life. So, Taurus, for your card reading for the month of September, this is all. I hope you enjoyed this card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, check out the other three card readings that are related to this video. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out the other videos in my channel. And we see each other soon. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.